Hey guys, it's uh, Jim from JagFX.com. Um, this video is just going to be a video on how to actually load an EA, which is um, like a trading robot or an expert advisor or trading bot, whatever you want to call it. I'll just call it an EA, which stands for expert advisor. Um, how to load it onto your MT4 platform. I get a few questions from people I've given my EAs to or and I'm sure there's other people out there who've got commercial EAs or EAs from other sources that may just be a little bit confused. Um, it's pretty easy, but like anything, when you're learning it for the first time, it can be a little bit tricky and MT4 can be a bit daunting for some. So we'll just run through. We'll, I'll show you the way I do it. Um, there, there may be other ways to do it, but this is the way I do it and I find it quite easy. So. As you can see here on the screen, I have just a, so actually a US dollar Japanese yen four hour chart. Um, now, if there was an EA actually attached to this chart, um, there's a couple of ways of checking. You, a lot of EAs have information that get written on the left hand side um, of the chart when they when they're active, and also on the in the right top right in this area here there will be a smiley face and possibly the name of the EA. You'll see this in a minute. But, and also you can just anywhere in the chart, right click. And if you look down your list here on this box, that when you right click on the chart, there's nothing about expert advisor there at all. So we can safely assume there's no EA on this chart at the moment. So all I've got is a, a, a chart. It's got indicators and stuff on it. It's got my template, as you know and no EA. So I'll just go to my desktop and I'll show you. I'm going to put my SMSF EA onto this platform. So here it is, SMS, SMSF102. It's just the EX4 file, doesn't matter. It's sitting on the desktop. So we'll just go back to my platform. Now, the easiest way to do it, just go up to the top left here and you see the word file. Left click on that it'll give you a drop down box just drop down the box and you've got open data folder see that there open data folder this is where all your indicators scripts um, templates uh, everything goes into including the EA so just double click on open data folder and it opens up this box here now you can just move that box around that's fine you can even minimize your MT4 platform if you wish just by like that, the box will stay there, that's no problems. Now, you've got a, a number of folders here, so we go to MQL4, you can see that one there, just double click on it, opens up another box full of folders. Um, now, if we're putting um, scripts, they go into scripts, if we're putting indicators on, they go into indicators. So, with experts, with EAs, which means expert advisor, we just double click on the experts, it opens up a folder and I've got plenty of EAs on this um, part so I don't want them too much but one hang on I've just lost my box I'll just go quickly open it up again that sometimes that happens don't worry about it just open up again no big deal back to MQL for experts all right we'll try again <laughs> all right so here we have all the um, EAs in my folder. So all I do is go over to mine on my desktop, SMS, SMSF, right click on it. And my computer's going super slow as usual. In a couple of weeks I'm going to upgrade this thing. So just copy into my folder, right click, paste. All right, it's in there now. So it's in my folder. All you do is close that folder Go back to your platform, just open it up again. Now, back in the day, you used to have to actually reboot your MT4 platform. These days, you don't have to do that. The easiest way I do is just go up here, this yellow like um, star on a folder. It's your navigator. Just left click on that once and it opens up your whole, um, uh, your navigator, your indicators, your, your EAs, everything's in there. These are all just on drop down menus if you want to um, expand them or contract them. You're just pressing that little cross there. So we go down here, we can have a look. 
there's the SMSF. You can refresh this list. Um, the, normally the EAs come up in the list straight away, but if you right click on any on any any EA or any indicator on the list, you'll see a box come down. You got refresh there. You can just press that if you wish, and that just refreshes the list. But we can safely say that the um, SMSF EA is in the list. All right. Now to get it onto the chart, and we want to put it on this chart, we can either just highlight it, left click it, and drag it onto the chart like that, or you can just double click it and it'll appear on the chart. All right. So this is what you'll get when it gets on the chart here. Now straight away you can see on the top right here in the chart window, you'll see a little the name of the EA, SMSF, and we've got a little smiley face. Well, it's not a smile at the moment, it's a frown, but I'll show you how to turn that into a smiley face. Uh, it's probably hard to see. I don't have the technology how to zoom in and zoom out on video making, so you just have to take my word for it. At the moment, it's a little round face with two eyes, and instead of having a smile, he's got a frown, so he's got an upside down smile. For the EA to be working correctly, we need it to be a smiley face. So we'll work up, I'll show you that in a second. But here, this is this is the EA attached to the chart, and it gives you an opportunity to go across these tabs at the top here. About, it just tells you it's by who built it and who's copyright to me. Uh, you've got a common tab. Now, you just make sure you've got on this, uh, generally you have it long and short that's what you want um, if you want to do live trading make sure you tick that box there live trading uh, don't worry about the alerts too much um, I normally leave enable alerts it just so uh, when there is a signal it'll cut, pop up on that on a alert box on the chart for you which is a handy and allow DLL imports tick that and allow import of external experts so that that sort of does it for that and you go to the inputs tab. Here's where all your settings are for the EA. So if you follow my instructions on the PDF document that you've got from me, if if you are using my EAs, obviously every different every EA is different, so you'll have different settings. But this is just you just click on it and you can modify it just by using your, your keys. It's pretty simple. Um, so yeah, there's your list of settings for everything. Just down the bottom here is your magic number and um, ID, so it comes up in the comments field, etc. They're just miscellaneous settings, but generally the most of the settings up here are the important ones. And your other tabs, dependencies, I've got no idea what that actually does. I've never looked at it. It doesn't worry me. I'm not a programmer, so it doesn't concern me at all. But so, all right, so say so that's, that's your settings that you want to run with, which is probably not ideal, but that's just the default settings. All you do is press OK down the bottom here, and that will put the EA on your chart. So see, you can close this navigator box if you want. Now see how I said sometimes on the left it'll give you some sort of uh, information. Every EA, EA will have different sort of information in this top left area, um, some more than others. But now the problem is we only have a... a um, a frown over here on the right so at the moment this EA will not be working so there's a couple of ways of doing this the easy way see it's got auto trading here and it's it's a um, there's a red dot on that on that little sort of yellow face with a blue hat it looks like um, ideally we want uh, we want a green uh, dot here so all you do is just click on that once and see how it changes it to green and if you look over to the right, you'll see we now the smiley face is actually a, a smile. So that means this EA is now up and running and will take the next available signal. Now I'll just show you a couple of other things. Um, if we go up above that auto trading, there's a, uh, a tab called tools. Left click on that, it'll give you a drop down menu. Just drop down to options, click on that and it'll open up this box here. All right, now this is, got all your um, a lot of settings for your MT4 platform and because we're dealing with expert advisors or EAs we just click on the expert advisors tab now you'll notice 
we've got some boxes here. Uh, this top one, allow automated trading, all right? So you watch, if I uncheck this box here, watch this auto trading up there. So, oh, don't watch it yet because I've got to click OK. I click OK, and there we go. See how it's changed that to red? So it's just another way of doing the same thing I just did before. So click on tools, go to options. We're in expert advisors, allow automated trading. Now, you've got other things here. Um, you can disable your EAs when your account has been changed. So you had two, two different accounts under the same broker. You may not want, want to run your EAs if you change accounts. You can just tick that box if that was the case. Uh, another one here, you gotta be careful of disable um, your your EAs when the profile has been changed. With um, MT4 you can save different profiles which are like different sets of charts and you could have them running in the background with EAs. Now if you wanted the EAs to run whilst you're on a different profile you would have to leave this box unchecked. So just be careful of that. And uh, there's another one here, disable automatic trading when the chart symbol or period has been changed. So that basically means if you were on a four hour chart, you change it down to a one hour chart or something like that, or change it from a Euro to a Great British Pound. If you tick that, it would disable the EA on the chart. So that's probably a handy one to tick. These other ones are just, um, just uh, allow DLL imports and also some URLs to be hooked up. I don't really worry about them too much. I always just leave them ticked so it doesn't bug me too much. So if I press OK here, because I've ticked Allow Automatic Trading, I'll get OK, and there it comes up green again. So that means this EA is ready to go. Now, to modify the EA whilst it's on your chart, like it is now, the easiest way to do it, I find, anywhere on the chart, like just right click again. Now you'll see, remember before I said there was nothing about expert advisors? Now Expert Advisors is in this list, which means it's active or it's on the chart. Now, the best way to, um, you can either remove it just by clicking on remove, and it'll just take it off. Uh, I'll just show you that, so remove, and there it goes. It's disappeared off the right, and there's no more information there. So your EA's off the chart. If I right click on the chart again, see there's no Expert Advisors on that list anywhere. So I'll just put it back on. So get Navigator, uh, SMSF, there it is there, double click, press OK. It's back on the chart. There's the information there. We've got a green up here. In auto trading, we've got a smiley face. All right, now to modify the EA, we'll just right click on the chart anywhere again, go to Expert Advisors, and you've got Properties. Just left click on that once, and that brings up your Inputs box. Same as before. So here we can just modify, so we wanna change that to use filter two, we'll change that to true. And just press okay. Your EA is modified and you're ready to go. So that's about it. That's how you put an EA on a four, uh, on the MT4 platform. That's the way I do it. And that's the way I um, modify it. Just make sure your settings are right. Important that you have this smiley face up here and Auto trading is green. Make sure you get in the tools box, click options, go to expert advisors, allow automated trading. And also in your EA itself, go to expert advisors, properties. Just make sure in your common, allow live trading. If you're trading live, allow DLL imports and allow imports of external experts. So, and long and short, if you want to trade both ways. So you just want to trade um, long, for example, you can just do that and that'll, the EA will only take long trades. And generally, you can do, build that into the, um, in the EA inputs, but sometimes you can do it in the common tab. So that's about it, guys. Um, hope that makes some sense. If you've got any questions, feel free to contact me either through my website there or via my email address, which I should have written up there, which is just um, jagfx33 at gmail.com. So thanks very much for that. Enjoy your day. Cheers.